with another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about Young Thug. Young Thug recently had an interview on The Breakfast Club this morning. Let's talk about it. So, Young Thug, Rich Gang, had an interview, Breakfast Club this morning, Charlemagne the God, DJ Envy, Angela Yee. And Charlemagne and Young Thug, they've had discrepancies in the past, back when Young Thug was signed under Rich Gang and Birdman had issues to Breakfast Club. You know, Young Thug being an artist under Birdman, he rode for Birdman. He rode for the squad. He told Charlemagne, we torture you, boy. We catch you in, in Atlanta. We capture you and torture you, boy. <laughs> classic, classic Young Thug from back in the days. Funny as hell. Might be a bit embarrassing to him because he's grown as a man and grown as an artist and a human being. So sometimes when you watch back moments like that, it may be comical to others, but a bit embarrassing for yourself when you've grown as a human being. But nonetheless, they had that conversation about the past and the discrepancy. And Charlemagne explained to him that he didn't think that Young Thug would outshine and outlast Rich Homie Quan. Why did he say this? Because on a previous Vlad interview in the past, Vlad asked Charlemagne, who do you think will be around longer? And Charlemagne said, Rich Homie Quan. Well, now we're in 2021. Young Thug is sitting in the Breakfast Club's chair. And Rich Homie Quan, well, yeah, he's sitting on the Motown shelf. Because I believe he signed the Motown now. And we haven't heard from Rich Homie Quan in years. Goes to show, Vlad was right. Vlad said Young Thug would be around. Rich Homie wouldn't. Charlemagne said Rich Homie would be around. Thug wouldn't. Me personally, I never thought hard about either of them being around or lasting five to ten years, keeping it honest. But I'm going to give you my truth now. Yeah, I agree with Vlad. And the reason I say I agree with Vlad is not because of Young Thug's success now. No. One thing that I know is that when it comes to the music game, Every generation, it's about dumbing down the next generation. So if you look at Rich Homie Quan's music, the reason Charlemagne had an issue with Thug's music is because he had a hard time understanding it verbally. Mind you, Charlemagne's from the South. Thug's from the South. Very confusing how you can't understand Thug. Me being from up North and I could understand it. That, go, that speaks volumes. Or maybe Charlemagne's just not a fan of new age hip hop. And maybe he has a certain era that he likes. As he said, Ghostface Killer, GFK, is his favorite rapper. So maybe that's his era he likes and he sticks to that. That's all right. You know what I mean? That's what you grew up on. That's what you like. No one got a gun to your head. But Quan, being someone you can understand on the record... More pronunciation wise, Charlemagne chose him because he can understand him more. And that in itself is understandable. Vlad, he more looked at what most people look at melody, vibe, who can make the track sound better. What's the vibe? And Charlemagne said it. Thug's voice in itself is like an ad lib, like it's like an instrument. His voice alone is like an instrument. So Thug is definitely a special artist. But what Charlemagne was trying to say was lyrically, Quan is the better rapper. But like I said, when it comes to hip hop, rap, our culture and genre of music, for the next generation, it's about dumbing down the culture. It's not about uplifting. So before Young Thug, we had Lil Wayne. Before Lil Wayne... We had the 90s artists, the Tupacs, the Biggies. Even before them, well, not even before them, at around the same time was the NWAs, which was the first rap group to introduce gangster rap 
to hip hop. And before them, you had the Kumo D's, you had the 80s, the KRS-1s, the Big Daddy Canes. That was the beginning. So like I said, every generation, it's about dumbing down the culture. And Young Thug, since release of his music, well, you can see all the artists that followed under him. Little Uzi Vert, this one, that one. And it's just going to keep going and going and going. Dumbing down the culture. So, yeah, I agree with DJ Vlad. And, yeah, there'll be many more artists to come. If you're looking for lyrical hip hop, you'd have to hit up Kendrick or J. Cole for that. <laughs> and even in this day and age, in the words of Kendrick, is it even worth it anymore? Why y'all think he don't do music? Because he himself know Bars don't sell. Melody sells. Keeping it honest. But hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, stay subscribed. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. You're now welcome to K-Will TV. I'm going to catch you all on the next one.